Oh my god! Like, what size are you? She's a sturdy queen. We love a sturdy queen. <laughs> Goggle up. And on his platform, he had a house. Yeah, yeah, I tend it. Oh my god. What's up guys? We're really excited for today's video because we're doing a very special room makeover. A family friend of the office and has been dying for a room makeover for a long time so we've been getting supplies ready and today is the day we're gonna do it. Okay, Timbit, come on in. Oh my god! <laughs> this is Daniela and this is her Timbit. This is us. I'm internally <laughs> crying right now. He's such a floof. He's called Timbit because we have donuts that are like donut holes here. And he looks like a Timbit because he's just like a ball of dough. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we're going to give Timbit a room makeover because as you guys probably know, hamster cages are like questionably not cute. Functional, but not cute. <laughs> my friend. So this is his cage before. Like, not the cutest hamster cage. And he needs like a little bit bigger of space. So what do we have for the new cage? So currently, Oh my god, that's heavy. <laughs> we Got have it. a fish tank because this is actually not that safe for them. The wires, they can climb up on them, get stuck, and all scary things. This is safer because you can see the hamster better. It's 23 gallons. There's like ASBCA guidelines for how much space hamsters need. So you can look that up if you want to be like super safe. And then this wheel is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so much better than the plastic one. A lot of like standard hamster wheels are too small and so they bend their back and it's it just causes back problems. The last thing we got was this little glass um, drinking tube and the glass drinking tube, like it'll stick to the side of the tank. And apparently glass is just safer than plastic, like BPA and stuff, I guess. Okay, so that's what we have to start with and we are going to do a Scandinavian inspired hamster cage. Hamster's dream mansion. This is like me making furniture for my Barbies when I was little, but now there's like a real thing that gets to live in it. And we're gonna do it all out of like natural wood. And we're gonna make sure it's safe. And um, cute to look at. And cute. First things, should we make a plan for it? Let's make a plan. So we have a solid plan for the cage. It's time to start building. We have sourced a bunch of materials, so. We have towels, popsicle sticks, some thin wood, all kinds of wood, because wood is good for little hammy. And then also some ropes and twines and stuff, because we might give hammy, Timbit, Timbit hammy, it's a swing. Ah! A swing. Okay, you're gonna show them how to do the first platform? Yes, okay. So we measured out, we realized that we want it to be seven inches tall. To make the platform, we're using this quarter inch piece of plywood. I'm just gonna cut it to size. Whoop bam Oh my god. And then I'm gonna use um, some thick dowels that we have as the legs. And then I think we're gonna use some wood glue and then a nail from the top. All right, I can get rid of this tape. It looks great. My next step is to add a ramp. I'll first make the ramp and then figure out how to attach it. I'm thinking like some like little ropies. So we're thinking four inches wide because little hammy isn't that big. Yeah, like there, ideally. Okay, so the next step, we're going to attach this using poles and rope. I'm so excited. <laughs> but Loki, how much do you wish this was life size for you? I mean, I, I, I kind of, oh my god! I, I kind of have one already. <laughs> Friggin' perfect. We could have made a replica of the log. What are we doing? Start the video again. Better idea. Nothing like blowing off some sawdust. <laughs> now we got some ropey twine stuff. Thanks, Michael. It's not sponsored. Should be sponsored though, right? Okay, the last thing I'm going to handle before I hand this over to Becky to make the house, I'm going to make a swing. So we're gonna use three wide popsicle sticks then two smaller ones to um, use as supports. 
drill four holes um, for a little pores coming down. Palette swing, throwback to old school story girls. Okay, while Kelsey finishes the little swing, we're gonna add one added safety feature onto this, just in case we don't want the whole thing to tip over. So we have these little suction cups that are literally from the dollar store and they have a little hole through them. So we're gonna tie some rope through the hole and then tie this whole thing to the leg and then suction it to the wall so it's super sturdy. Okay, the swing is done and it is so freaking cute. But next, I'm gonna work on building him a little house that sits on our platform. I'm gonna make the walls out of these large, thick popsicle sticks and support it with some smaller ones. And then I'm gonna do a roof as well. So I just cut the last strip of this one wall on an angle so that the roof can be slanted. So I'm gonna do this on both sides as well. Um, I'm just at Michael's and I found bleh, this. This could work as a food dish. It's pretty like shallow, but I think it'd be really cute and they don't need to be like that deep, I don't think. What else am I here for? Oh yeah, popsicle sticks. Guys, look what I just found at the dollar store. Like, what? This is exactly what we're making this whole thing out of. But they don't have giant popsicle sticks. What's up with that? Working on the house. I couldn't find any more popsicle sticks, so we're gonna use these that I found to complete the house and the roof and everything. And I'll maybe repot those plants I bought. They're so cute! I know. Cheers. Okay, we've got two side pieces with the slanted roof, a back piece, the actual roof, and then two pieces for the front. And the door is gonna be like this tall, like architecturally cool piece that doesn't really have a top, it's just two sides. You'll see. To attach it all, I'm thinking the best way we'll take this little wooden dowel and stick it in each of the four corners. That way it can really make the corners nice and tight. And we want this to be like this top thing so that Danielle can find yeah. Timbit. So like the whole house can be removed easily. Cool. Tuscan log cabin realness. <laughs> yes. Little house on the prairie. <laughs> little house on the platform. Guys, we'll be here all week. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. Holy mother! Beep beep beep! Oh my god! I kind of love it. Only kind of? I totally love it. All right, all of the builds for the new house reno are done. So now it's time to start the decor. First, we need to attach our suction cups, right? Yes, I was telling you about these earlier. They're just like an added safety tip. So I feel like you're supposed to like wet them. I don't know. I think so for maximum suctionness. Yeah, she ain't going nowhere. Okay. Cast that to Timbit. Mm-hmm. And I think we should put some bedding in it, right? Yes. Bed it up. So freaking cute. I wanna live here. Okay, we're all done this part. Now it's time for the final touches. Okay, the whole renovation is complete. So now it's time to do the reveal. Should we bring in a Daniela and a Timbit? And a Timbit. Come in! Okay, Timbit, eyes closed. Are you ready for the big reveal? <laughs> Three, two, one. Woo! Timbit! Do you love it? Oh my God, how did you guys do that? I know, right? Look at that, wow! Okay, let's put them in. Welcome to your new home, buddy. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at it. It's your new wheel, it's so big. So Timbit, you'll notice in this corner we gave you a brand new wheel that's so much bigger than the old one you were working with. And your home has been entirely renovated to be all wood and gorgeous and you don't really care. <laughs> it's like it's time to sleep. Oh my God, he's so freaking cute. Team, Team Timbit. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. We will link anything below. This was like unexpectedly so much more fun. If you want us to do more mini things or more pet themed things, let us know below what we should do. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thanks to Timbit and Daniela for being featured in this video. And if you like it, make sure you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we hope you enjoy your new space, Timbit. Bye. Timbit says bye.